a tradition of sorts in one classroom, has gone on for many years now. It's all about one teacher getting some help from his students to start the day off just right. Scott Zachman wasn't late for work at Johnsville Elementary School in Blaine, and he probably wouldn't have picked this tie to wear even in his fourth grade classroom. Ever since I started student teaching, my mom would send me ties in the mail at, at college, and um, she always had us dressing nice as kids, and that was the expectation, and so that just kind of carried on, and, and I wanted to have, you know, a, a look good in school. It was important to have a, a professional attire on for me. And he usually puts the finishing touches on his wardrobe in front of his class in the morning. It's all part of the morning routine his students know well, so let's start at the beginning of the day. Scott greets each student, those not in his class. What's up, dude? You have a good weekend? And especially those he has all year. Welcome. Have a good weekend? Yeah? All right. The tie rack is next to the door. It's quite a collection, including his personal favorites. This one brought me back to when I was growing up in the 80s. Oh, wow, Duck know. hunt. <laughs> and all those cherished gifts. This was the first tie I ever got from a student about 15 years ago. It was a Christmas gift. There's the money tie and the perennial favorite, the hot dog tie. All of them are good for one student to choose from every morning. Usually when it's their birthday, they get to pick one out for sure. Uh, and then from there, you know, if I have a student that maybe I thought yesterday had a little bit of a bad day, um, I'd pick them out today to, you know, the next day to do something. Or maybe they um, did something really cool in class. I'm like, tomorrow's your tie day. So um, we just find different reasons to give it to them. Sometimes I just pick a kid to pick a kid. You know who didn't get to pick a tie yet? Was Justin for his birthday last week. So Justin's on the board to pick it. The students look forward to the pick. It seems like every year, every class kind of takes on their own persona as far as like what they're looking for in a tie. Some years they want to find the ugliest tie that doesn't match me at all. Other years the hot dog tie is the most famous tie and I wear it 30 times a year. Um, so it's just kind of fun to see each class kind of take on their own. Um, they kind of gravitate towards something. And maybe gravitate more toward the classroom experience he wants to create. It's, it's a way to connect with the kids. Um, and it's something that um, they get to look forward to a little bit. It's, it's my little 10, 15 second moment where I can start a day off with a kid and connect. A good start to their day from a teacher who's looking out for them. Don't get lost. Scott has ties the students have brought to him from places like Hawaii and Florida. He said sometimes he leaves school and forgets to take off the tie first. And one of the ones he's gone somewhere in public was still wearing the, the hot dog tie. Now, if I'd been thinking, I would have just gone across the street. That's where the school is and gotten the hot dog tie for the news. I think it would look really lovely on you. Yeah, I think so.